So you're looking at lot 13, uh, tag number C521, and this doe was born April 16, 2017, and she's the first of our April-May does that we're offering in this sale. And uh, look at that, uh, she's a beautiful, beautiful doe. Uh, nice and wide, look at that shot, wow. Uh, again, width between the front legs, connotates to a, a really a wide top. You guys can see the hip dimension there, the width between the back legs. This doe, no doubt, will have no problem popping kids out. We've talked a little bit about how these Weinheimer does, a lot of times will have that first kid and they won't even get up. They'll kind of bend around and they'll be cleaning off that kid that came out and while they're even having the second one. Uh, so I like these black ones best myself. Uh, and I don't know why, it just seems like they uh, uh, have the best mothering ability uh, of all the goats. And uh, I don't know. I guess I'm wrong. They're all good. But uh, I just like the looks of them. They look flashy. So uh, this doe is going to sell exposed to a Weinheimer buck. Uh, there will be a photo somewhere in uh, the sale offering showing the buck that they're exposed to. And uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think that those like this are the future of meat production. Uh, you don't give anything up uh, with a uh, Spanish goat like you used to in years past. And those of you that are in the uh, purebred uh, Kiko industry, if you're looking to add some dimension and some mass to your Kikos, uh, the F1 cross produced uh, from this doe underneath the Kiko buck could be something special. So think about it. Bid off and bid high.